cold therapy. Some call it a wellness hack, others a mental toughness challenge. But what's the real deal? Let's explore the benefits, how to start, and some common mistakes to avoid. When you expose your body to cold, a fascinating process begins. Blood vessels constrict, which reduces inflammation and improves circulation. At the same time, your body releases dopamine, leaving you feeling refreshed and mentally clear. And those mitochondria, they get a workout too, boosting your cellular energy production. Think of it as training for your body and mind, a way to recover faster, build resilience, and start your day feeling unstoppable. So, should you jump into a cold plunge or stick with a cold shower? A cold shower is the easiest way to start. It's quick, accessible, and still delivers great benefits for circulation and mental clarity. But if you want to take it up a notch, a cold plunge fully immerses your body, targeting muscles and reducing inflammation on a deeper level. Both are effective. Just choose the one that fits your goals and comfort level. Starting cold therapy is easier than you think. Begin by adding 15 to 30 seconds of cold water to the end of your shower. It'll be uncomfortable at first. Focus on deep, calm breaths to stay in control. Over time, increase your exposure and lower the temperature. For cold plunges, start with water at around 60 degrees Fahrenheit for just a minute or two. Gradually work your way to colder temperatures and longer durations as your body adapts. The key is consistency. Your tolerance will grow over time. Now, let's talk about when not to do cold therapy. Avoid it right after a workout. While it reduces inflammation, it can also blunt muscle growth and recovery. Wait at least four to six hours after exercising. If you're feeling sick, skip the cold exposure. It's an extra stress on your immune system when your body needs to focus on healing. Cold therapy is a powerful tool for recovery and resilience, but it's all about starting slow and listening to your body. Are you team cold shower or cold plunge? Let me know in the comments. And as always, here's to you living a more empowered life.